Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make easy roasted butternut squash. I'm gonna show you a classic basic recipe for roasted butternut squash, as well as give you three more flavor options so that you can mix and match to your heart's desire. Now, the easiest way to cut and peel a butternut squash starts with a fork. You're gonna use the fork to pierce the outside skin. You just wanna rotate the squash so that it gets a little bit of aeration going. And then as strange as this sounds, we're gonna pop this in the microwave. We're gonna soften it up and make it easier to peel and cut by placing it in the microwave and cooking on high for three minutes. Next, we'll slice off each of the ends and then slice it down the middle lengthwise. And since we have microwaved this, it's a lot softer than it normally is. It makes a huge difference to microwave at first and makes it a ton easier to cut. Then just like a pumpkin, there's seeds inside, so you use a spoon to scoop those out. Then in order to dice it, I'm gonna slice the neck off from the bulb portion so that you have two pieces. Then we'll be able to dice the neck portion, slice it in half again, and then we'll be able to dice into one inch cubes. Then the bulb side is a little harder. What I like to do is rock it onto one end and slice a piece there and rotate it until I'm able to dice it into chunks. Transfer all of your cubed butternut squash to a mixing bowl. Then for the classic base recipe, you'll drizzle two tablespoons of olive oil on there. Season with salt and black pepper. Add in two cloves of minced garlic and give this a toss. Then spread these out into an even layer onto a baking sheet. Now before we roast these, I promised you three other flavor options, so we'll go over those really quick. For a rosemary version, drizzle with olive oil just like before, season with salt and pepper, add in some garlic, then add either two tablespoons of minced fresh rosemary or two teaspoons of dried and give it a toss. And I'm just gonna roast these on the same baking sheet as my classic version. Those are both classic, great savory options for butternut squash. The next two are for those of you with a little bit of a sweet tooth. For brown sugar roasted butternut squash, we're gonna drizzle with a little bit of melted butter, sprinkle on some brown sugar, and add just a pinch of salt and give this a toss. Spread this out in an even layer on a baking sheet. The last option is maple roasted butternut squash. So I'm gonna drizzle on about three tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Add in a little bit of olive oil, pinch of salt again, and toss. Maple and butternut squash are a great classic flavor combination. I'll put the maple version on this side of this baking sheet. We're gonna roast these in a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until the squash is tender. And that's it, you're ready to eat. Let me know in the comments below which flavor combination you'll try first. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.